Hello and welcome to another sneak peek of a plugin that we've got coming up for you. Um, the previous one went down exceptionally well, so we thought we'd do another. Uh, as always, comments, likes, and especially hitting that bell button is always appreciated. Right, straight into it. What are we updating? Okay, now you're probably familiar with messages. It's been one of our most popular plugins. We've had it out for a couple of years. And what it does is emulates a text message conversation between a few people, completely customizable. You can put in whatever you like, you know, images and of course, video, etc. And we've got the emulation of Facebook and WhatsApp. Okay, first update, we've updated the look of Facebook and WhatsApp. Um, so all the icons that you see on the bottom and the bar at the top should match exactly what you have on your mobile telephone. Now, don't worry if you've used the plugins before on another project, those are actually all in the plugin pack as well. You can't find them because they'll be hidden, but if you open up an old project, it will load the old plugins in. So don't worry that if you've got an old project, you open it up and it's going to look like this. It won't because it'll still reference the old plugins on there. So we thought we'd leave that as is. Um, and of course, we got um, some top and bottom bars for the iMessage SMS uh, as well. So look at your phone. But the big thing we have now is tracking. And it's taken a while to work out how to do it because there is a big problem within Final Cut Pro that we discovered. We thought it was going to be really easy, but no, uh, it took us a couple of days to work out a solution to how to get a tracking um, building uh, conversation between two. It's quite easy to do a single one, but to have the conversation build is actually quite complicated. Here I've just opened up the title inspector so you can see all the plugins in one hit. And as you can see, there's quite a few more than uh, the previous version, version one. Um, they've, they're all labeled as well with numbers to make life easier. So then we can see here it's got 10 messages, SMS. So you've got message left, message right, um, the uh, picture or video left, right, and then the top and bottom bars, etc. dates. But those are all on white. The ones on black are actually the tracking versions of those. Um, because they're built really differently to, to do the animation, we had to make them in two separate um, uh, uh, iterations so that the tracking would work in one and then the push-up would work with the other. So each of the different types of effect have two different types of as we've seen. So you've got Facebook Messenger, that's the push-up, and then underneath that's the tracking version. Same goes for WhatsApp, that's the push-up with WhatsApp, and then that's the tracking version. And then we have some background colors and the bottom bar as well. We also have up here the multiple tracker, uh, multiple message tracker. You can't see anything on the screen um, because what it is, it's a blank screen that tracks and there's a little Easter egg in there that I might mention right at the end of this video, but we'll see. Um, so right, let's have a look at doing some tracking on a clip. I have on the timeline a picture of a man looking at his mobile phone when he really should be spending a bit of time with his colleagues uh, over his latte or whatever it looks like. Um, but just before we go further, just to say that this timeline, the 2019 sneak peek, if I click on it, um, is actually 3840 by 2160. So that's UHD. I tend to call that 4K, but it is actually UHD. So everything you see in this timeline um, and the promo has been done in 4K. So that should give you an idea of how fast things work. It's pretty quick in 4K, but obviously with uh, 1080 it'll work even faster because there are less pixels, etc. Okay, what I'm going to do is mark that and then go up to the title inspector and pick one of the plugins to show you. Now, it's not going to be one of these because these are, these are the push-ups. It's actually going to be the tracking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that one and hit connect and to connect it to the clip. And we've got a few controls on there already that we can see. Right, we need to go to the front and I am going to pick this box up. This is the tracking box and it'll analyze the um, information in there. Now this is an object tracker. It's not a planar tracker, it's not a point tracker. So it needs something to track. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna track the back of the phone on there. These two cameras, I think, can they'll, be, can they'll be good to track. And also what I'm going to do, I've got an option in here for some smoothing. We don't want jitter on the track. I'm gonna put that at medium and then hit track forward. And as you can see, we have got the object tracker going through. 
this update is going to be a free update for existing users. Um, it was priced at $49. It's probably going to stay like that. Might be a bit cheaper when we um, do it. Might have a bit of a sale. But for all existing customers, you are going to get all this tracking capability for um, you know absolutely free. There's nothing more to buy. No update costs. Um, and we think it's just fair to keep the, the price the same on there. And as you can see, that's actually finished. That's tracking in 4K which is pretty good. And if I hit play, you can see it is actually tracking nice and smooth the um, the phone, but it's in the wrong place as well. So what we want to do is we want to move it. And all I have to do is pick this up and move it to where I want. Let's put it over here and we're going to resize it maybe to there. So let's take a look at that. Really easy with the on-screen controls. You don't have to go between the mode where it tracks and uh, you, you've you got the adjustments because we've changed a few things with a tracker uh, to make life easier. You can have overlapping OSC controls. And that is so easy to do. As you see, I did that in seconds. Right, let's add a bit more to it. We can customize. There's lots of ways you can customize this. You can do the colors. So you can say, I'll have the green and I'll have white on there. Uh, change, change text. On here. Now, one tip. There is a message width control and it's here. If you do it straight, it's actually a bit coarse. Now, what you need to do is you need to hold down the option or alt key and that will gear down the control. So you can actually get that to be the right size. You also have controls for the height. Should you wish to extend that again, um, the gear down affects that one as well. So you can get exactly the size you want on there. Now, one thing to do, uh, it needs an avatar. So I'll click on the avatar image well and click on her apply clip that looks good but I don't like this highlight here so I can actually go and say let's scale her up a bit and move her over to the to the left on there and when we play you see I tell you what let's put that a bit closer to now we've shortened it let's put it a bit closer to his head on there Now, because the controls are independent, the actual position of the item is independent to the track. You can move anything whenever you like. You don't have to retrack or anything. You can just move it to get the absolutely perfect position on there. And that's it. Really easy to get a single message tracking on screen. Now, if we go back to our message builds, let's take, uh, for example, this message that we've got which goes on and on and on. Now, this is over white and it's a compound clip. So what you do is you build the messages up, as you can see here, and then build them into a compound clip and put that over your background. And what it'll do is it'll make an alpha channel and key over the, over the top of that. If you want to have a set of messages that build and track, that is actually really quite difficult to do because as we said, there's a problem with Final Cut Pro and I'll show you what the problem is. So I've taken the messages and the background video and split them apart. And here you can see we have the scrolling text message conversation that we want to put over the top of this lady reading it on her mobile phone. So we've made a compound clip of these as you do for just a normal building of a text message, which is relatively simple. Now, you would have thought the easiest way to get that would be to drop that into one of the video images that tracks. So maybe something like the iMessage uh, like that, or maybe that one. Let's go for this one in that case. And we'll drop that on. Uh, we don't need the avatar. But what we will do is we will track. So let's put, go to the beginning of the clip and let's put that over her mobile phone. Hit the track. Again, it shouldn't take so long, but we are doing this in UHD. Tell you what, let's speed this one up. So we finished the track. It didn't take long, but I didn't want you to really wait through it again. And as you see, we've got the um, drop zone tracking with the phone. We obviously want to move that because that's going to be the destination for our conversation now. 
we, what we'll do is we shall click on there, go to the drop zone, find what we want to do like that and apply clip. And as you can see, we've got something in there. I'll tell you what, let's, why don't we shrink it down um, and see what we've got. So the easiest thing to do is to scale that and maybe pan the thing over. Take it down a bit more and drop it down so we can see what's going on. Now, can you see it's not actually scrolling the, the messages? Now, this is a bug, I reckon, in Final Cut. So this is a compound clip in a drop zone. And what the, what the drop zone does is it ignores all the positions of the pushes that you've done on all the messages. And that means you can't just take a message that you built like that and put it in a drop zone. Um, I think that's because we've got show opaque on. Oh yeah, if I turn that off, you see, it, you know, it's not what we want at all. Let's make that a bit bigger. So, you know, to try and duplicate that. And it kind of works. It kind of like looks like a conversation. But what we want, what we really want is we want this scrolling version. Of course, it's a compound clip, so it's actually changed that one as well. Ah, I should have realised that. <laughs> OK. Um, what I'll do is I'll just go back. So what we have actually done is we've managed to work out how to do it. And if you can see on this example, we have this guy walking along and we've got the tracking messages building. And what I'll do is I'll save the technique for the tutorials with the plugin. But just to show you, it can be done. It took two days to work out how to do that, believe it or not. But it can be done. And I think this is a great, great way of, um, I mean, look at this one as well. This lady looking at her phone looks superb on there. So there you go, hopefully giving you an idea of what's coming um, in the update. As we said, it's a free update for all existing users. Um, it'll probably be a sale and we should have it out in the next week or so. Um, so until the next time, keep an eye out for the update and uh, we hope you like it. Thanks very much. Bye bye.